So in my last video, I did say that hopefully it is my last video about the whole entire Chris Tyson situation, which this video isn't directly about. And, you know, I, I feel like it, despite there's like might be a couple updates here and there, I'm going to try and reframe and hopefully move on from it because it's, you know, I've made three videos about it now and it's time to, you know, start making videos about some other things. But even though that this d video isn't directly related to the Chris Tyson situation, it is somewhat you know, related to it in a little way. And the way it is related to the Chris Tyson situation is because one of the, one of the main overarching um, things that were wrong with the Chris Tyson situation, obviously there were like two main things that Chris Tyson was being called out for. One was inappropriately talking to people who were underage while Chris Tyson was in uh, their 20s. And then the second one was Chris Tyson openly supporting an artist who was producing a lolicon now if you don't know what lolicon is it basically to, to su kind of summarize it up and i have to use a little more a little bit more pg words because my videos recently have been you know not pretty much pretty much demonetized a lot of the times and it's kind of sad to see you know, so my videos are getting you know limited in turn of, in terms of ad revenue so to kind of put it in the most pg way possible lolicon is is uh in japanese um art style where they take children and they put them in inappropriate ways let me just let me just put it in that way and the main artist that chris tyson was supporting this entire time was an artist who was relatively popular on twitter which i found quite kind of surprising and just in the, the internet scheme um altogether their name was shad base in multiple in a video um with mr beast in it you can see that in the background there is and this is in Chris Tyson's house. There is a piece of artwork by Shad Base hanging on the wall of Chris Tyson's house. And that art itself is, you know, definitely Lolicon as the person depicted in that piece of artwork does not seem of a, you know, legal age. But the thing that makes all this even worse is that I saw a Reddit post last night before I went to bed. And it is a video of multiple different creators in the past and even in recent times in the last few years supporting and commenting and being fans of this exact same artist. Elastigirl. Roleplay we must. Prepared, I am. Open. I'm going to kind of break this video down just a little bit, not in its entirety, entirety, because if you have to like slowly scroll, scroll through that all, you will be able to see that there is a lot of people who were a support of this artist. Now, I'm going to go through just a couple and mainly the ones that were shown at the start, not the ones that were kind of skimmed through near the end. But the first person that we're going to go through is Rick, Ricky Berwick. Now, he has actually deleted all of his replies and anything related to Shad Base themselves. Now, Ricky has actually replied to this as someone, you know, retweeted, like tweeted out an image saying that, you know, Ricky himself had deleted all the replies in regards to Shad Base. And Ricky came out and acknowledged all this. He said that everyone was an effing fan of Shad Base from 2016 to 2019. You aren't exposing me. I deleted my interactions slash replies because I've no longer been fans for years for obvious reasons. Now, we're going to get into like the whole entire timeline of everything when it comes to Shad Base and how long they've actually been extremely questionable for. Because to be honest, I see him as being like, oh, everyone was a fan between 2016 and 2019. Well, there was a lot of questionable things that even Shad Base was doing back then, not even just in recent times. And there is more creators that 
there is this uh, popular uh, Twitter page as well, Stinky Blue Rat. And I've obviously had to blur this out because this image is extremely explicit. And this person right here, you know, as, as the artist Shad Base, and you, as you can see, this uh, Stinky Blue Rat person has um, replied to it saying, I'm scared and confused. There was also another big creator who, who's Chaos. Now, there are some posts who were that were deleted by Shad Base. So we actually don't really know what some of these posts were and how, you know, questionable these posts really were. Another one is by Sive. Now, if you don't know who Sive is, Sive is the main editor for PewDiePie and has been for a long time. He's also gotten exposed in that video as well as someone who has been a, a supposedly a supporter of Shad Base themselves. But the only thing that, you know, you can kind of make a little bit of an argument for when it comes to some of these people is that as much as Shad Base themselves, and I can see some of this, and like, like with me, you know, I, 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 as much as, you know, this is all bad, and I'm not saying it is, I, I'm trying to see from other people's perspective even though i'm going to literally go against my own perspective in a little bit time as well is some of these posts that shad base has posted in the past aren't necessarily questionable like there's this one right here of shad base pretty much just drawing a minecraft character with a completely different skin and as you can see Sive themselves replies to it now i don't know exactly what comment they were replying to because as you can see the post was deleted by a post author but arguably the person who has been exposed the most and has actually been called out the most is a YouTuber by the name of Elvis the Alien. Now, they originally got uh, called out in a comment like this, which Elvis responded saying, that's false. Every piece of artwork that I used of his had already existed. And what he means by that is that supposedly, Elvis the Alien pretty much used Shadbase and Ark Shadbase to make some thumbnails for their videos. And Keemstar himself actually, you know, goes against this and says, so let me get this straight. You used a known cartoon CP artist for your thumbnails, the same artist that drew in real life children in a actual manner. We can actually see all of this. Now, as you can see at first, Elvis the alien has been a fan and commented um to commented on Shad Base's stuff for a long period of time. Not only that, but in these clip these pictures right here, these screenshots, as you can see, Elvis the alien has used, you know, Shad Base's imagery and artwork for, you know, multiple times. And now at this point in time, Elvis the Alien has actually deleted or at least deactivated their Twitter page altogether. And just like when I said about the whole entire Chris Tyson situation about even though it was a month ago that they deleted every single post on their Twitter, is that when you are mass deleting everything or you are, you know, deleting your account entirely, you know that you're in some deep shit. 100, 100 fucking percent. Now, when it comes to this whole entire timeline of things, is that you might be asking me, Donnie, now when it comes to Shad Base, have they always been questionable? Have they always like done this kind of, kind of content? Well, yeah, they've done this kind of content for a long period of time. They've done lollicon drawings and questionable drawings and putting, you know, miners in questionable positions for a long period of time. I mean, I went on their YouTube Wikipedia page to have a look at all their past controversies. And as you can see right here, this is just a screenshot of some of the controversies that they've put out in the past. And despite the alleged assault at the bottom, a lot of these don't really have like any yearly dates. So we can time everything of like when this person started to do questionable stuff, or at least when it became public knowledge that this person was, you know, rel you know made questionable artwork. But the one that we can kind of tie it to is Keemstar controversy. Now with this Keemstar controversy, if we, um, Maximize just that one right here. It says that on Tumblr, someone asks him to make an artwork of Keemstar's seven-year-old daughter doing questionable things to Donald Trump, to which they said that if Donald Trump won the election, they would. And this isn't the recent election. This is the election back in 2016. And they did that. They drew Keemstar's seven-year-old daughter in questionable positions with... The, they drew a minor... Back in 2016, and then Ricky Burbick has the has the audacity to say that everyone was a fan of this man from 2016 to 2019. So you're telling me that back in 2016, when a when an artist, a lolicon artist, drew a Keemstar seven year old daughter in a questionable position with the president of the United States, everyone was a fan of them. 
Are you serious? That, to me, is questionable itself. What do you mean, oh, just in recent times, I'm no longer a fan of his? Well, what about back then as well? There's no way in hell that you can tell me that that was all just swept under the rug and completely ignored. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of Keemstar, don't get me wrong, but that's still disgusting. And you can't tell me that that wasn't knowledge back then either. I mean, I didn't know this about that back then either because I wasn't in the Twitter space back then. I wasn't involved with this guy. I didn't know who this guy was. But surely, if you knew who this guy was and you were a fan of them back then between 2016 and 2019, how could you have not known about this? How could you not have known about them drawing questionable material as well? And the thing that also... Um, baffles me too is that like even on this wikipedia page is supposedly this guy shadbase said that they stopped uploading videos around 2018 after stating that would quit like drawing vulgar art they did on their youtube pa their youtube page but if you go on their twitter page they have still been posting vulgar art to this very day like the last time they posted was yeah like back in may but that still means they have been posting recently and even in some of their posts recently they have also been putting miners in questionable positions as well raven and starfire from the cartoon teen titans they have put them in nudity photos now obviously I, I, you see people all the time talk about how like my childhood crush was raven i mean same here when i was a kid and i watched teen titans i was just like I want Raven to be my wife when I grow up. But I'm an adult now. I mean, it's teen, It's called Teen Titans. Teen Titans. They're teenagers. And you're going ahead and you're drawing them to this day in questionable positions with no clothes on? That, to me, is that... How is this person still allowed to post this art on Twitter? But there is, like, so many other people... That have been linked to this person there is so many other questionable things like i saw this as well um on the youtube drama page on reddit of someone posting like the whole entire like pretty much everyone that's at least known to this point in time who has had some kind of association with the shad base or shad main however the hell you say his name honestly i don't really care if i mispronounce his name whatsoever they are a disgusting person any type of lolicon it, it, it's it's filth man it, it's disgusting like come on are we are we are we are we really serious about this and like this is all the people and all these people need to come out and make some kind of you know statement and say that hey just come out and say something that honestly really need to say something because supporting this person especially if you did have knowledge of the content that they were posting then that to me is extremely questionable and unacceptable but i would definitely like to hear what you guys have to think about all of this down below um i saw the post that i originally posted on um uh, that was on reddit they called it the shad apocalypse and honestly this seems like what it is you know once once one person goes down it's like a domino effect all of all the rest of them start coming down as well but that's going to be it for me guys make sure you like subscribe all that stuff peace out